Have you ever found yourself transported back in time to the hilarious antics of Lucy Ricardo and her endearing husband, Ricky? I Love Lucy, a timeless television series that graced the screens in 1951, continues to hold a special place in the hearts of viewers. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with the show, a laughter-filled moment etched in your personal history. Or maybe, out of the many roles portrayed in the series, one character stands out as your favorite. As we delve into the fascinating world of I Love Lucy, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show. Your stories and recollections bring the magic of Lucy and Ricky's adventures to life. Drop your anecdotes in the comments below, we would love to hear from you. Now, let's unravel some intriguing facts about this beloved series. Did you know that I Love Lucy was a trailblazer in the sitcom genre, setting the standard for future television comedies? The show's unique combination of humor, wit, and relatable characters quickly earned it a dedicated fan base. Lucille Ball's portrayal of Lucy Ricardo, a charming yet eccentric housewife with dreams of stardom, became an instant hit, resonating with audiences across generations. The on-screen chemistry between Lucy and her real-life husband, Daisy Arnaz, who played Ricky Ricardo, added an authentic touch to the series, making it even more endearing. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the world of Lucy and Ricky, the charm of I Love Lucy continues to captivate audiences, proving that great comedy transcends time. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Share your stories and let the nostalgia flow in the comments below. I Love Lucy, a pioneering TV series from 1951, holds a significant place in television history. One notable aspect is its role in the shift from live broadcasts in New York to filmed productions in Hollywood. Unlike many shows of its time, I Love Lucy utilized three film cameras simultaneously, ensuring high-quality prints for future audiences. This move marked a departure from the live format and set a new standard in television production. In 1990, a crucial discovery added to the show's legacy. A 16 mm print of the original pilot episode was found, though the opening titles and early moments of the narration were irreparably damaged. Remarkably, 51 years after its initial recording, a reconstruction effort took place for the DVD release in 2002. Bob Lemond re-recorded the narration, breathing life back into a pivotal scene from the series. The show also faced challenges behind the scenes, notably with William Frawley, who portrayed Fred Mertz. Frawley, grappling with alcoholism, received a stern warning at the series' outset to remain sober or face termination. If one pays close attention, a majority of his scenes depict his hands buried in his pockets. This strategic placement subtly concealed any tremors caused by his ongoing battle with alcohol withdrawals. I Love Lucy not only brought laughter to households, but also left an indelible mark on television production techniques and the challenges faced by its cast. From Hollywood innovation to the reconstruction of damaged scenes, the series navigated hurdles to become a timeless classic. The characters in I Love Lucy were more than scripted roles, they were reflections of the actors' real lives. Lucy Ricardo mirrored Lucille Ball's journey, hailing from West Jamestown, New York, and making her way to Manhattan. Similarly, Ricky Ricardo, like Daisy Arnaz, was a Cuban musician leading his Latin America band. Their on-screen marriage echoed the real-life elopement of Daisy and Lucy to Connecticut. Ethel Mertz, portrayed by Vivian Vance, shared roots with Vance from Albuquerque, New Mexico, where both started in show business at the Albuquerque Little Theater. Meanwhile, William Frawley, playing Fred Mertz, drew from his Midwestern upbringing and vaudeville career. These uncanny parallels between the characters and the actors added a layer of authenticity to the show. It wasn't merely a sitcom, it was a reflection of the lives and backgrounds of the talented individuals bringing it to life. The intertwining of reality and fiction created a unique dynamic, enriching the viewing experience for audiences of the 1950s. As the show progressed, there were even plans to spin off the Mertzes into their own series after I Love Lucy. William Frawley was on board with the idea, but Vivian Vance vehemently opposed it, showcasing the off-screen tension between the two actors. Their on-screen chemistry, which entertained millions, was not without its backstage challenges. The address of the Ricardos at 623 68th Street may have seemed straightforward, but a peculiar detail emerged. 
The fictional address was situated on East 68th Street in Manhattan, which only extended up to 600. This intriguing discrepancy added a touch of humor to the show, highlighting the playful liberties taken in crafting the fictional world of the Ricardos. In essence, I Love Lucy transcended the realm of a typical sitcom. It became a reflection of its actors' lives, showcasing the intricacies of their relationships and injecting a dose of reality into the scripted humor. From the authentic origins of the characters to the behind-the-scenes conflicts, the show remains a fascinating blend of fact and fiction. In I Love Lucy, the details went beyond the scripted lines. The Ricardo's New York apartment had three different telephone numbers during the show. Murray Hill 5 minus 9975, Circle 72099, and Murray Hill 5 minus 1999 were not just random digits but unused telephone numbers from the New York Bell Telephone Company. When these numbers were set to go live, the Bell Company would inform the show's producers, providing a unique touch of authenticity to the series. Murray Hill and Circle were actual call names in 1950s Manhattan, seamlessly blending reality into the show's fictional world. Beyond the phone numbers, subtle details and specific episodes added layers to the narrative. In Ricky Has Labor Pains, Lucy is seen reading a McCall's magazine featuring a sketch of a baby on the cover. Next to it, the series title, I Love Lucy, is prominently displayed. This clever incorporation of the show's title within the episode's set design showcases the creative and meticulous approach taken by the production team, making every element count. While the on-screen chemistry between the characters is well known, it's interesting to note that Vivian Vance, who portrayed Ethel Mertz, won an Emmy for her performance before Lucille Ball did. This fact adds a dynamic aspect to the behind-the-scenes dynamics, highlighting the individual achievements of the cast members and the recognition they received for their contributions to the show. In the intricate web of details, from telephone numbers mirroring reality to creative placements of the show's title within episodes, and the recognition garnered by the cast, I Love Lucy continues to stand out as a masterclass in blending authenticity with entertainment. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic journey through the timeless TV series that brought laughter and joy into countless homes, take a moment to delve into the tapestry of your own connection with the delightful world of Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel. Let the echoes of their comedic escapades resonate within the corridors of your memories. Perhaps you find a cherished recollection, a moment when Lucy's zany antics mirrored your own playful spirit, or maybe Ricky's musical interlude struck a chord with your love for harmony. Whatever the thread that binds you to this classic, it's woven into the fabric of shared experiences and the universal language of laughter. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us your fondest musings, your laughter-infused anecdotes, and the snippets of wisdom you've gleaned from Lucy's misadventures. Engage with fellow enthusiasts, creating a mosaic of diverse perspectives that mirrors the richness of this iconic series. As we revel in the tapestry of human connection, Thank you for joining us on this journey through the timeless allure of Lucy's world. Your thoughts and memories add a unique hue to the canvas of shared nostalgia. Until our paths cross again, continue savoring the timeless charm of a series that transcends generations.